Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today at Wig Studio One. I'm Marlene from Marlene's Wig and Chat Studio. And today I have a bit of a different video for you. I'm going to review what I am wearing. This is Skylar by John Renault in the color Toffee Truffle FS6 3027. I'm also going to show you how to, how I, because there are many different ways, how I take care of my HD fibers. These are HD fibers that we find on Skylar. I've had Skylar since November, 2021, and I have worn it lots. And as you can see, it still looks absolutely beautiful. I'll leave timestamps listed down below if you want to hop on over. And I'll also be mentioning a sister style or a similar style to Skylar by John Renault. The link to Skylar will be listed down below for you in the description box. And if you have any questions about styles or colors or just any question about wigs or toppers, please contact support at wigstudio1.com and a consultant will be happy to help you. All right, let's first talk a little bit about Skylar. As I mentioned, Skylar has, a, has HD fibers. As you can see, we have really nice waves here and then a bit straight towards the bottom. I'm going to add a picture up here on the corner of Dress Me Up by Gabor, which is a very similar style. The biggest difference between Skylar from John Renault and Dress Me Up from Gabor is the top. Skylar has a full mono top and an extended lace front. On Dress Me Up, we have a left mono part that sort of curves around on the towards the crown. Both have about the same amount of density. I would say this is average, maybe even a little bit lower than average. And both have minimal permatease. I would say that Skylar has less permatease because we do have a full mono top. So the permatease is really minimal that we find on Skylar. Both have HD fibers, and but I think both are beautiful styles. So how do you choose? I think it really depends on the color that you're looking for. And if you're a right-hand parter, then definitely Skylar is the style that you want to go to because of the full mono top. Skylar has the perfect length. I think it is such a nice, nice style. On Skylar, we have the bang is 11 and a half inches. The crown is 11 inches. The sides are nine and three quarter inches. The nape is three and a half inches and it weighs 4.5 ounces. We do have a little bit of layering here, but I, I, I would say it's really minimal layering that we have. That's what's providing this fullness because these are heat friendly fibers. We can add heat in order to add more curls or if we wanted to add uh, or if we wanted to make it straight. Personally, I love it just the way it is. I absolutely love Skylar. As I mentioned, I purchased it in 2021 and I have worn it lots and it still looks brand new. I would love to have it in more colors, that's for sure. It was not long enough to wear it in a ponytail. However, if you wanted to do a uh, half up and half down, we can do that. We could wear it with a headband. If you wanted to add bangs, we could we could add bangs to it. We can tuck it behind the ears. Because we have a full mono top, of course, we can part it in any direction that we want. If you wanted to part it on the left, beautiful monofilament, beautiful lace front. I have a 21 and a half inch circumference. I had to cinch in Skylar about half an inch on either side in order 
to accommodate my 21 and a half inch circumference. Therefore, I feel that if you have a 22 or a 22 and a quarter, depending on your other two sizes, my other two sizes, my ear to ear and my front to back are petite average. But I think that you shouldn't have any problems because we do have a weft cap. So something for you to uh, to consider. The color of my Skylar Toffee Truffle FS6 3027. One of my favorite colors from John Renault. We start out with the numbers. Well, first of all, that FS at the beginning of any of the John Renault colors is going to be an indication that we're going to have very bold highlights. I know some of us love them. And some of us just don't care for those bold highlights. There is a six, there is a six thirty twenty seven, which indicates that there aren't the bold highlights. I'm almost certain of that. But in this case, we have FS fashion um, fashion syrup is is what it means. So we we start out with that six, which is your base of a brown, a darker color, and we have a thirty which is your auburn, or as they re refer to it, it's a medium reddish brown. I call it an auburn. And then we have the 27, which is your lighter auburn, or they refer to as a red gold blonde. Either way, it's still uh, I've hi highlighted in that reddish blonde or light auburn color. I think it is absolutely beautiful, and you'll be able to see it when we go outside. I apologize. I believe I said we have an extended lace front. We don't have an extended lace front on Skylar. We have a smart lace, temple to temple lace front, the full mono top, felt covered ear tabs. We have a non-extended nape. And as you can see how much I cinched it in. Lots of stretch to Skylar. One of the questions I see the most on our private Facebook group, Wig Studio One, Wig and Topper Support Group, is how do we take care of our wavy, heat-friendly fibers? I don't want to lose the waves. I don't want to lose the curls. Honestly, I found this is what works the best for me. And if you have a way that you take care of your curly, wavy, heat-friendly fibers, and it's different from the way I do it, please leave it down in the comments so other viewers can see it as well. The first thing we're going to need is a canvas head. This is the John Renault canvas head, and I will leave it linked down below in the description. We can find it at Wig Studio One. That's where mine came from. So I'm just going to show you the process. I'm not going to actually do it. I make sure to secure the wig on the canvas wig head with T-pins. And what we want to do is we want to make sure that when we apply the, add the pins to it to secure the wig, we're not punching, for example, the full mono top. We want to place them at the ear tabs or at the nape, wherever we have that extra, where we don't have any monofilament. Basically, if this were a hand tied cap, I would also make sure that I would apply these pins to the uh, to the ear tabs or to the nape anywhere where we're not going to damage the the hand tied cap or in this case the full monofilament top. I use the John Renault steamer and I like this steamer also I purchased it at Wig Studio One and I will leave it linked for you down below in the description. It's because it has a nozzle on it. So with of course, you could use any steamer that you prefer. I prefer this one because I can control where the steam is going. And if I'm, for example, training the fibers away from the face, I want to be able to control that steam in order to avoid any damage to my lace front. And it just works perfectly. I've had this for three years now and I've never had any issues. It's very easy to use. You just add the water to the tank you plug it in, you turn it on, you wait a couple of seconds, and then it's on there. So what I'm going to do is once my steamer is going, I'm going to take it and I'm just going to go through the entire wig. I'm going to avoid the top because I really don't need to add any steam to the top where the monofilament is found. My concern is with heat-friendly fibers, 
is to take care of those ends so they don't appear dry and bristle as they tend to do but we don't want to add use a flat iron because we maybe we don't want to remove the weights we want to make sure we keep the steamer moving we don't want to hold it in any place at one time for any extended period of time we just want to move it and make sure that we get all of those ends we go through the entire wig probably from the center down and we just add our steam there's no need to wash it prior there's no need to add any products once we finish with the steam i take the i always hold on to the hair nets that are included with the wigs i'll take a clip a claw clip or whatever i have handy just to secure the hair net up there and i leave it on there for about four or five hours in order for the to allow the fibers to cool if you're wondering why i add the hair net i do this because the moisture from the steam will weigh down the waves it'll weigh down the curls by applying the hairnet, it will hold those curls in place and you won't lose your curls or your waves on your heat friendly wavy wig. So that's all I do. I just leave it there for three or four hours and then it's done. Thank you everyone. At Wig Studio One, we appreciate you spending this time with us. Please let us know how you take care of your wavy heat friendly fibers. We'd love to hear. We hope that everyone is having a fantastic day and we will see you next time. Bye.